So another fun fact, if this is your first Wilma Awards, this is where we like to stop and break in the program and make all the other categories sweat it out for a little bit longer. But it's for a good reason. One of our other traditions that we do for the Wilma Awards is our scholarships. And that goes to UNCW and CFCC um, students who are recommended and put forward from their writing departments um, because they have a strong interest in creative writing or the arts because of, we are a magazine and we wanna foster um, that talent pipeline uh, in the future. And so our hope is that by helping to support their education endeavors, we are also supporting them to be here in center stage at um, some point in their career in the future. So at this time, we want to take a, a break and recognize those scholarship winners. And I'm going to read a little bit about to you. So if you hear your names, you can come to the stage and you're going to get a giant check. And I say this every year, but it's just uh, adorable because sometimes I've been asked, do they take it to the bank and, and cash it? And you don't. It's just our old people's way of just being ceremonial and giving you a giant check. <laughs> So first up, from Cape Fear Community College, we have Hollis Rose. <laughs> um, Hollis moved back to her hometown of Wilmington after almost a decade of teaching scuba around the world and has lived in Mexico, Thailand, Indonesia, and other countries. And she enrolled at Cape Fear Community College in the fall of 2020 to take a degree, uh, step towards a degree in marine biology. But after her first English class, um, she discovered her passion for writing and pivoted and is now pursuing an English degree, which we approve of. <laughs> Next up is Valentina Giambra <laughs> from CFCC. <laughs> Valentina was born in Italy and her family moved to the States and ended up in Wilmington. Um, but books are her passion, and she returned to CFCC to study communications and writing, hoping to further her career and earn her associate's degree in the arts. <laughs> Shania Barney is from UNCW. She's a junior from Charlotte. She's majoring in creative writing with a minor in business. Smart. She has an interest in writing creative nonfiction for young adults, sharing her passion for the genre while showing young readers that nonfiction can be fun and captivating. And on campus, she spends much of her time in the Upperman African American Cultural Center. <laughs> and we have from you also from UNCW, Valora McRae. <laughs> Valora has been creating books since she was a toddler taping paper together, writing stories with smelly markers. I love it. She's going to graduate at UNCW in May with a degree in creative writing, a minor in English, and a certificate in publishing. So congrats, and thanks for all that you guys are doing on your campuses, too.